Hi, Jason here. For this video, I'm going to focus on beginner coaches, more specifically, volunteer parent coaches. A shout out to Holly, a new parent coach from the Gold Coast in Australia. This video is inspired by you. For new coaches, standing in front of a group of young children can be very scary. You're probably feeling overwhelmed and unsure of where to begin. Maybe you're concerned that you don't have the necessary experience to coach a group of young players. Perhaps you see many people looking at you and feel a sense of expectation from the parents. It's natural to feel all those things. Watching this video is a great place to start. Remember, every coach started with zero coaching experience, even the best coaches in the world. And as for the parents, I'm pretty sure they are very thankful that you're coaching their child's group. To help you get started, here are three things to consider as you begin your coaching journey. One, enjoyment should be the focus for the players, but also for yourself. How players enjoy the game will depend on their age, but encouraging and developing their love of the game is essential. Championships are not important when players are first starting out. If they are, maybe some re-education is needed for the club. Make sure you have fun with the players. If you do, I'm sure the players will too. Think of Tigger and Eel from Winnie the Pooh. Which one would you prefer to be coached by? Two, keep things simple. Coaching doesn't need to be complicated. Success should be players looking forward to coming back to the next session. Play lots of fun games. There's plenty of hidden learning for both physical literacy and ball technique in simple games. Be positive with plenty of praise for effort rather than outcomes. And when looking for session ideas, be careful of the internet. It can be like the wild west of coaching out there. National soccer associations are a great place for practice ideas. Since moving to Canada, I've been really impressed with the support given to new coaches by the Canadian Soccer Association. Additionally, you can seek like-minded coaches in social media groups. Global Soccer Education recently started a Facebook community where we provide help to coaches starting out. I'll share the link in the video description below. And three, communicate your intentions and expectations with the parents as quickly as possible. Be clear with your goals for the group and hopefully they include fun and lots of play. Let the parents know their support and feedback is appreciated, but only at times convenient to you. 2.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning is not a good time. Finally, remind them that every child matters and each player will be treated fairly. Those are just three things to consider as you start out coaching. That's not everything. There are many other things that can help too. I'll cover more topics for beginner coaches in future videos. I hope this video has helped anyone who is starting out as a volunteer parent coach. If you have any specific challenges you'd like me to cover in future videos, please leave a comment below as I'm always keen to support coaches any way I can. Good luck with your sessions and remember, the coaching community are here to help you. Now go have some fun with the group.